Erica, Sarah, Deanna, and we're, we're going to teach you how to change your oil. Hi, Bruce. Before you start changing your oil, you have to make sure you have all the right tools. Here's an oil drain pan for your old oil to go into. Here's a wrench for you to undo the oil plug. Here's an air filter wrench. You gotta make sure you have enough of the right kind of oil for your vehicle. You can get read that in the owner's manual. Sometimes you want to change your air filter if it's too dirty because otherwise it can be bad for your car. And then of course you have to have an oil filter. So first I'm going to pop the hood so we can get started. Next, you want to pull the latch. <laughs> you pull this. <laughs> to get in here so it stays upright. Next, oh, you want to check, <laughs> you wanna check the dipstick. And wipe it off so you can get it clean. Stick it back in there. <laughs> okay. Nice and easy. You pull it back out and you check it. And you make sure it's at this line, which it's not. So it's low. So it's low. So your oil needs to be changed. And you stick it back in there. This is a long one. <laughs> you make sure it's in all the way. And voila. This van is really big and has a lot of space underneath it. So we don't have to drive it up on ramps and put little things on the back. What? Ch chocks on the back. Um, so we're just going to put the e-brake on now, and it's this right here. It's pretty tough. <laughs> it's done deal. I've got my 5 eighths wrench, and I've got my oil drain pan, and i got a few paper towels, so now I'm going to go underneath the car and open up the oil plug and let the old oil drain into the pan. The booty on that blonde. <laughs> Get this out. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> this hurts. Why do we do this? <laughs> There it is, finally got it loose. Now I'm just gonna unscrew it with my fingers, make sure I catch it and a little oil might get on me. Oh, yep, a little bit of oil. That's what I got my towels for. Now the oil's draining into the pan, nice big pan so you don't get any spillage. And I'm going to make sure that I dispose of all my waste properly and not going to throw it out in the woods. I'm just going to throw it right in this trash can. <laughs> so so of the Next, I'm going to change the oil filter and then I'm going to clean off the rim from leftover oil. Oh god. It's a terrible angle. You can probably just unscrew it when your fingers are loose enough. Lefty loosey righty tighty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ow! Oil's coming out of it! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 
What are you doing? I'm unscrewing the filter. Drop it right in the Oh. <laughs> Can I have some more paper towel? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all over me. Okay, now I'm going to clean off the rim. <laughs> Make sure there's no oil on it. Loser. <laughs> <laughs> Bruiser. Bruiser just made out with me. And voila. Done. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is what happens when you change oil. <laughs> That's why we're in black. It could get a little messy, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Now, I have to take the new oil and brush it around the rim of this. The oil filter. The oil filter. Get it nice and lubed up. Careful, the screw's not on this way. Now it's time to get down. Oh, I see. Now I'm going to take my finger and make sure there's no dirt around the rim. There was some dirt, but I got it. Okay. When it contacts the rubber, turn it three quarters to one turn by hand only, not with the wrench. Now I'm going to put the oil plug back on because all of the old oil has drained into the pan. So I'm going to move the pan out of the way now and put back on the plug. Carefully because I don't want it to spill. I'm gonna tighten it with my fingers up first and then I'm gonna make sure it's nice and tight with my wrench. Yeah. <laughs> 
This camera's gonna be really, really shaky. <laughs> it's not there, Erica. Remember when changing oil, she wear one clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Then put the cap back on, and voila. Now I'm going to start the engine and let it run for a little bit to check for leaks. Now, while the car is running, we're going to go underneath and check the oil filter and the plug to make sure that there's no leaks. Now that the car has been running a while, we're going to check the dipstick and see where the engine oil level is at. <laughs> we're going to pick that up and throw it in the trash can. <laughs> You can see the oil goes up to the line right there. Perfect. Perfect. We did a good job. Yay! No, turn it up. I wouldn't want to have it any other way. I'm addicted and I just can't get enough. 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 Honey got a sexy on steaming. She give my heart that's a new meaning. Perfection, mommy, you gleaming. Inception, you got Good. from a dream. Now we are going to change the air filter. As you can see here, is right in the middle. I'm going to unsnap the clampies. <laughs> that are really hard because it's so cold. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take out the dirty oil filter. Check out how dirty this is. Once we put in a new one, it can save on gas mileage too. Oh crap, it was like this, right? Hmm. Okay. I'm going to place the new one in. Should be a nice snug fit. If I can get it in. Voila! successfully learned how to change your oil. But all cars are different, so be sure you consult your owner's manual or ask a car maintenance person if you're unsure of how to do it. And remember to recycle your oil at the dump.